Hi everyone, this is Chris. Uh, I'm with Jeremy Brown with Throne Publishing Group and we are on our final episode of Cycle of Fullness. Uh, be sure to catch all the other episodes, especially the first one where we kind of explain what we're talking about here. But I'm here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota right now training in this program and um, I'm really excited about how it can help writers tell their story. I'm all about, as a coach, I'm all about helping you tell your story. So I'm, de I'm developing skills right now in, in exactly how to draw that out of you. And uh, Jeremy has a concept that I just love. So it's the cycle of fullness. We've gone through loss, acts of courage, street lessons, street skills, and now we're in divine appointments. Divine so, appointments. Yes. Tell me about divine appointments. Divine appointments are so interesting. <laughs> and it's really the right person at the right time with the right word. And we don't always realize it in the moment, but as we look back, we say, had I not run into that person, I don't quite know what I would have done. And these are people that That's pour into so us. Good. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. And these are people that pour into us, mm -hmm. and there's people that we want to pour into. This is where this anointing comes in. How do yeah. I know what I'm called to do? Well, when we look at divine appointments, everybody has, you know what, this person showed up in my life, and I don't know why, but I wanted to help them. And yeah. they were a burden even to me, but I just wanted to help them. I don't even know why. There's some anointing there. There's where God's leading you there. He doesn't call us to do a thing. He calls us to a people. Yeah. And according to what the people That's need. Good. That's right? really good. Yes. According to what the people need is yeah. what we do. Yeah. So we don't need to think about what do I do. We think about who am I called to. Divine appointments point I that love path. That. Right? Yeah. And so it comes around, and as we pay attention to these divine appointments, you might even say, I, you're going to be a divine appointment for somebody. Mm -hmm. And this is where you know we get into customers and everything. Customers find you. You're their divine appointment. You're their divine appointment for the authors. Mm -hmm. And then um, this then brings us around, so we're in our fullness. Okay. We've had this loss, act of courage, street lessons, street skills. The divine appointments are there. This is a story. Mm -hmm. This is an idea ready to be acted on. This is a story ready to be told. All right. In its fullness. So once you put this whole cycle of fullness together, tell me what you do. So out of fullness so, can come a lot of things. Yeah. Out of these cycles of fullness comes book outlines. Mm -hmm. Out of these cycles of fullness comes business models. Mm -hmm. Out of the cycles of fullness comes marketing plans. It's about where's your area of fullness? What does that look like? And then we add these all together. Street lessons, street skills, all these things. So yeah. what you're going to be doing is you'll draw these cycles up for people and you'll name them. And then they just, and then they say, tell me, if you're going to teach me from this area of your life, what would you teach me? Uh -huh. And then they start listening to all this stuff. And they yeah. don't even know it, but they're making their book outline. Oh, that's so good. And then it's, not, yeah. it's totally natural because, yeah, if I were to teach you what I learned out of that area of my life, here's what I would teach you. Yeah. Well, there's a sounds like good content to yeah. me. And these are the books we're reading all the time, aren't they? Like, that's right. So many of us are reading self-help books, and I've been doing that all my life, you know, just trying you know i love listening to people's stories i love hearing what they have to say and i love the different ways that we can outline um different ways to handle problems in our lives or how to reach god or how to listen to god more or based on revelation based on testimony from people's lives which you all have we all have a different story and god has put in us something to reach others he wants to reach others through who you are that's right so that's what this is all about is finding out who we are who we're called to be, who we belong to, how much we lo we're loved by the Father. And uh, it's going to be an exciting journey. It's oh, going to yeah. be an exciting journey for you to write your book, too. So Absolutely. Thank you, Jeremy. This has been wonderful. Oh, is, there anything be else? is there anything else you want to add to that? I think if you're watching this yeah. video, if you've seen the ones, call Chris. You're, you made it through all these things. I really think you just need to reach out to her and have a conversation. Yeah. Chris might be your divine appointment. You're gonna, I know you're, you were my divine appointment, you and Rick both. You guys come in here that time. You're just a type of person that I think you guys change people by being around them. Because uh -huh. you're truly yourselves. You do things. You're, you're bold and you're comfortable. And so I would just encourage people that if you're watching this and this is interesting to you, I want to encourage you to get a hold of Chris. Well, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Absolutely. All right. Well, bless you all. And uh, we'll see you next time.